The battle between House Republicans and the Justice Department over the Russia probe is rapidly intensifying this evening. A group of Republican congressmen have filed articles of impeachment against Deputy AG Rod Rosenstein, arguing that the DOJ has not complied with nine months of oversight requests for documents tied to the investigation. Joining us now exclusively to tell us what's next, Congressman Jim Jordan and Mark Meadows, who are spearheading the effort. We're also joined by Fox News anchor and author of the new fantastic book, big bestseller, The Russia Hoax, Greg Jarrett. Great to see all of you. Congrats, uh, Greg, on the book. Thank you. Uh, great to have you on. Congressman Meadows, let's start with you. What are you accusing Rod Rosenstein of specifically? Well, really, for nine months, we've asked for documents. And, and that's all we want are the documents. And, and what we found is not only have subpoenas been ignored, but uh, information has been hidden. Uh, the efforts have been stonewalled. And I guess for us, it's all about transparency. So the American people uh, can judge for themselves. And so, you know, they may be able to ignore Congress, but they can't ignore the American people. This is what uh, Andy McCarthy uh, wrote in National Review. Mm -hmm. uh, he said, Rosenstein and Ray, Chris Ray, FBI director, work for Trump. They're not Obama holdovers. They're Trump appointees. If they're defying Congress, it's because the president is permitting them to do so. The president is empowered to give his subordinates a direct order to comply with congressional demands and to fire them immediately if they fail to do so. He's kind of looking down on this mm -hmm. idea. Yeah, um, we've sent a letter to the president, um, Mark, myself, and uh, Congressman DeSantis saying, declassify the information, get, all, get us all the information. What is he, have you ever spoken to him about this? Why won't he declassify we, these? We sent the letter several weeks ago. Uh, but the bottom line is, we have sent numerous letters to Rod Rosenstein they haven't complied with, two subpoenas they haven't complied with. We've caught the Department of Justice hiding information, redacting information that they should not have redacted. We know that Rod Rosenstein threatened House Committee Intel staffers, threatened them, chilling impact when they were trying to do their job, our job of getting doing the constitutional oversight we're supposed to do. And we all know what the Justice Department did with the dossier. Never forget, Rod Rosenstein signed the third renewal, signed that. Which was, which was based on the dossier, which we know came, parts of it came from Bruce Orr, high ranking official through his wife, Nellie, the whole, the whole ordeal. So we're tired of the Justice Department giving us the finger and not giving us the information we're entitled to do to do our constitutional duty. More importantly, the American people are sick of it. That's why we filed the resolution. In just a moment, I'm gonna ask you about what House leadership, including outgoing House Speaker Paul Ryan is saying about all of this. But Greg Sherritt, I wanna to go uh, to you. Mm -hmm. Greg, this is what happened on Capitol Hill just recently when Congressman Jordan was trying to question Rod Rosenstein. Let's watch. Mr. Rosenstein, why are you keeping information from Congress? Congressman, I am not keeping any information from Congress that it's appropriate. In a few for minutes, Mr. Rosenstein, I think the House of Representatives is going to say something different. I don't agree with you, Congressman. I don't believe that's what they're going to say. And if they do, they'll you be mistaken. I might disagree, but I think... Be I think... Uh, no love lost between uh, the Republicans on Capitol Hill and, uh, and, and Rosenstein. Greg, what's going on? Do you think this idea of uh, an impeachment uh, vote, uh, if they can get one, is a good idea? Absolutely. Rosenstein has treated Congress with nothing but contempt and should be held in contempt mm -hmm. and impeached if appropriate. Uh, this is a guy who has been covering up from the very beginning for nine long months the origins of the Trump-Russia hoax. As I argue in my book, he and others never had any evidence of collusion. There was no evidence of crimes or intelligence to justify a counterintelligence probe. Rosenstein is the guy who put his signature on a mm -hmm. document to renew the wiretap warrant application. And he knew that that was a fabricated, phony document. He didn't present new evidence as the law demands. And he vouched for its authenticity when he knew it was unverified and fabricated. And that is a fraud on the court and abuse of power. Mark Meadows. Uh it's been 122 years since a member of the executive branch uh, has been impeached. It's a long time. It is uh, a long time. I mean, not, not, you know, obviously not talking about the president, but an executive branch right. employee other than the president. Uh, Paul Ryan doesn't strike me as the kind of guy on his way out, long goodbye from Paul Ryan, uh, who would be keen on this. How do you get a, a vote on impeachment without 
getting Paul Ryan's nod here? Well, certainly we hope that it doesn't have to come to that. Obviously, this is the first step tonight, but uh, it, it doesn't require consent from the speaker. It's a privileged mm -hmm. motion. So what we put in today was non-privileged. It goes in, gets referred to, to the Judiciary Committee. But starting tomorrow, we can bring it up as a privileged motion. What does that mean for people which, who don't understand Yeah, that? so, uh, and, and I'm oh. glad you asked, because it really means that it would require a vote on the House floor within two days. And that's something that any member of Congress, yep. Jim or I, can do. And, and quite frankly, uh, it's either we hold them in contempt or we get the documents or we impeach them. And, and the only thing that we have control over is the ability to bring uh, impeachment straight to the floor. Uh, Congressman Jordan, any concern that this will divide the GOP before the midterm elections? I mean, the Freedom Caucus has kind of a interesting relationship Doesn't with the with the <laughs> most of Congress, and it's not a necessarily positive one at times. I mean, I'm Doesn't with you on most of the issues, but you know, but a lot of the Republicans are like, oh my God, the Freedom Caucus. Every time they hear Freedom Caucus, they're like, this. They're... Yeah, we don't get that back home. By yeah, the way. you don't know back home. They love what <laughs> you're doing. Doesn't divide the Republican voters across this country. Doesn't divide. Uh, so you don't care who you offend on Capitol we Hill. We care about, about doing the right thing. It might have been 120 years since someone's been impeached, but when was the last time you ever saw the FBI take a disproven document with no no credibility, no validity, no corroboration, take it to a secret court? not tell the court who paid for it, not tell the court that the guy who wrote it had been leaking information to the press. When have you ever, and not just once, four stinking times. And the last one, Rod Rosenstein signed. So if that's not enough to force the action, as Greg just talked about, contempt or impeachment, you tell me what is. Tell me what is. <laughs> because I, I can't figure, and we, look, we've been as patient. We started this a year ago in July asking for documents. We started sending letters last which November. Which documents in particular? What's All scope, of them. We, got a, we got a subpoena with nine different things. They're, they're not in compliance with three of, the, three of the elements in that subpoena issued by Bob Goodlatte on March 22nd after we first asked for them in letters. Are there so, State Department documents that you guys have wanted that you haven't we gotten? We now. We found out we, we, yeah. more stuff. Yeah. That's yeah. my yeah. sense, yeah. that something was happening. Well, actually, the just department. in the last few hours, we yeah. found out about that. And so, you know, here's yeah. the thing is why do we have to dig so deep to find out information that should come free-flowing if, if we're really interested in justice? And Greg, let's go back to May when Rosenstein really got his back up. Let's watch. Any reaction to the news that certain members of the House Freedom Caucus have talked about drafting up articles of impeachment? I can tell you, you know, there have been people who have been... Uh, uh, making threats privately and publicly uh, against me uh, for quite some time. And I think they should understand by now the Department of Justice is not going to be extorted. Extorted. Yeah. I, that, that, every time I hear that, I, I, can't, I can't believe that's the Deputy Attorney General. Jeff Sessions, bad choice in him. Yeah, this is a very vindictive man. Uh, I was the first to report, actually, that he threatened yep, uh, he individuals was. on the Intelligence Committee. I reported it in early February. Uh, how did I report it? I talked to two people who were in that meeting. They both felt that he was threatening them to get his hands on their emails and texts and telephone records if they didn't back off this investigation. That's the kind of guy that Rod Rosenstein is. He's presiding over an investigation in which he is a key witness and refuses to disqualify himself, even though it's mandatory. You can't be a prosecutor, a witness, an investigator, and the judge all ruled into one. It's a violation of the regulations and the code of professional conduct for lawyers. Uh, Mark Meadows, before we let you go, what next for this? You, within two days you could have a vote on this yeah literally hopefully tonight there's a whole lot of discussion going on i've, I've uh, had conversations with the speaker's office uh we're hopeful that we get some documents that we identified today but if not as soon as tomorrow we could do a privileged motion that would require a vote in two days i think the american people are tired of talk mm -hmm. you know just like jim was talking about they want action and and it's it's up to rod rosenstein kevin he, mccarthy he with you help. on this i haven't talked to kevin i haven't talked to him all right, guys. American people are with us. That's what matters. Uh, great to have you both on. Mm -hmm. The Russia hoax. Get this book. Greg mm -hmm. Jarrett did a fantastic job. You want to understand a very complicated story and a total scam of waste of time for this country. Read Greg's book. Greg, thanks so much. And by the way, the president uh, has a star on the Hollywood Walk of uh, Fame, and it's been smashed to pieces. Mm -hmm. That's the state of affairs. They can't even stand to see his name in marble. The PC fallout coming up. Raymond Arroyo is with us. Don't go away.